Welcome to Late Night Wine with the Wine and Rack. It's the usual thing tonight, tasting wines on camera, but this time I'm going to open them um, live on camera and taste them. Um, so what you're getting is my raw, unedited first impressions of these wines. And tonight I'm going to look at four Californian wines. Um, they're not expensive wines, um, so let's see how they taste. This first wine is a Gallo White Zinfandel. Um, it's 9.5% alcohol. It's a rosé, um, and this is a big seller in the UK. Oh, I got it open. Nice. As you can see, it's pink. Um, it smells quite sweet. It's kind of confected. It's like um, sweets, really. A bit fruity. Um, it's actually um, an off-dry style. It's quite sweet. But there's some fresh acidity as well, which gives it balance. This isn't the sort of wine I drink, really. It's sort of off dry rose, bright and fruity. It's a sort of alco pop version of wine. But it's not badly done, I have to be honest. It's quite fruity. There's a bit of wininess there, in the sense that. It tastes sort of like wine. Um, if you think I'm being a bit harsh, I'm, I'm just trying to be honest. It's not really the sort of wine that, that I'd want to serve at a dinner party. But it's not an evil or bad wine either. It's, it's okay. And the second wine is a, a Mondavi Woodbridge Chardonnay in 2005. This is a wine that retails quite widely in supermarkets. Um, list price is six ninety nine, but it's the sort of wine that would be discounted quite often. So let's give it a whirl. It's a yellow gold colour. It's kind of yes, yeah, it's, it's the sort of colour that, that gives you a hint that it might be an oak sort of wine. Quite sweet on the nose, sweet fruit, a bit of vanilla, a bit of butter, and spice, presumably from the oak influence. Superficially, quite an attractive sort of nose, um, as you might expect from a Californian Chardonnay, it's pretty in your face. Well, the palate, that's better than I thought it was going to be. It's, it's got an attractive fruitiness. It's not too flabby. There's a bit of crispness there to offset the rich flavours. And there's a kiss of oak as well, some vanilla notes from the oak. Um, overall, it's not badly balanced. Again, it's not the sort of wine that I'd necessarily go out and drink in large quantities. But it's a good, solid, richly flavoured commercial Chardonnay. Okay, this next wine is a Blossom Hill, which is one of the big Californian brands. But it's their Reserve Chardonnay, and it's from the 2002 vintage. And normally you'd expect to be drinking commercial Chardonnay within a year or two of vintage. So this is um, older than you might expect. Again, you'd expect a five-year-old wine to have some colour to it, and this is quite a deep yellow colour. I don't know if you can see it clearly there. Um, it shows some evolution just from the colour. It 
And notice I'm getting sort of butterscotch, butter, nuts, smoke notes. It's very evolved. I wouldn't say it was completely oxidised, it's not. There's still life there, um, but it's mature. The palate's quite rich. It's a, a thick textured wine. There's plenty of oak evident. It's a really rich style. Um, the sweet fruit, um, buttery richness. Um, it kind of has a slightly oily quality to it as well. But it's not completely dead. I was expecting this wine to, to be um, totally over a hill by now, but um, there, there's, some, there's some life to it. Again, not a wine I drink a lot of, but um, it hasn't fallen apart completely. And if you like this sort of style of evolved Chardonnay, and this could be a wine that you'd appreciate. Um, for me, I'll pass. Okay, this next wine, um, and the only red in the lineup, is a Pinot Noir from Central Coast. Um, it's 2005 and it's Cycles Gladiator. <coughs> Um, it's a sort of dark, cherryish sort of colour. Um, not too dark, which is probably a good thing in a Pinot Noir. You don't want Pinot Noirs to taste like Shiraz. You want them to, to um, be a bit, bit lighter and a bit more expressive. The nose is nice. It's got a bright cherry berry fruit nose that's typical of Pinot Noir. So you can spot it as a Pinot. Um, it's variety true. There's a bit of herbiness in the background, um, alongside that cherry fruit. It's quite appealing, it's quite attractive. You know, I quite like this. It's, um, I was expecting it to be appalling, but it's actually okay. As, um, a nice sort of sweet cherry character to the fruit with a bit of spice. It's a bit of vanilla warmth which makes me think of some oak influence. Um, but the fruit's fundamentally quite good. Um, it's, it's riper than you'd expect from a burgundy of course, it's grown in a warmer climate. But it's not a, an unbalanced wine. It's nice and the alcohol is quite sensible, it's 13.5%. Um, it's not uncommon to find um, Californian Pinots at 14, 14.5. Um, and considering this is actually quite an inexpensive wine, I think they've done a good job with it. <laughs> 